Hi, welcome back. I'm Claudia and today we're going to be working on a 3D letter. Lately I've been working on a few 3D letters and I've been receiving questions about how to resize a 3D letter in Design Space and how to assemble a 3D letter. I thought it'd be fun to put together a short video of how I resize my letters and assemble them. Let's start off with uploading our 3D letter into Design Space. You can purchase 3D letters from Etsy. There's a bunch of sellers that have different files. Just do a quick search and I'm sure you'll find a few. When you upload your file, you'll notice it's all grouped together. I like to start off with changing the colors of my strips and my letters. I will be cutting on white cardstock, so I'm going to change the color to white and also delete any layers that I won't be using. Next, what I like to do is change my cut lines into score lines. What that means is if you see those thin lines on those strips, that is where we're going to be folding our strips to assemble our three letter. If I leave this like how it is right now, it will cut my strip. And what I like to do is change it to score. And now as you see, it changed the lines from a straight cut line to now dotted. And that is where it's going to score. Next, I'm going to ungroup my file and attach my score lines to my strips. And what this means is once you attach those score lines to that strip, when you upload your mat to your Cricut, it will know exactly where to score and cut each strip just how you see it on Design Space. What I'm doing here is just going through each strip and making sure that I have the score line and the strip attached and doing it for each one. Then I'm gonna delete any layers that I won't be using. The tool I use to score my 3D letters is a stylus pen and you can purchase that on Amazon, Joann's, or even on the Cricut website. Now to resize our 3D letter, what I like to do is highlight everything, my letters, my strips, make sure everything is highlighted and then you're going to pull on that arrow and stretch it out a little bit. I like to do this a little at a time. Of course, now I'm a little bit more experienced with my letters so I know what size to do my entire file. But for the sake of this video, I'm doing little by little, stretching it out and then seeing what the height of my letter is. That right there is about four and a half inches in height. I need mine to be a little bigger. So I'm gonna highlight it all, then stretch it, and then highlight my letter to see what the height of it is. When you have everything grouped together, your strips will match your letters. If you only have your letters highlighted and not your strips, your strips will not match your letters. So when you cut everything, it's not gonna align perfectly. So in order to have everything aligned perfectly, you need to make sure that your entire file is highlighted and then stretch it out, highlight your letter, and see what the height of it is. Generally speaking, I like to keep my letters about six and a half, seven inches. If you want bigger, by all means go bigger. If you like smaller, go smaller. But just make sure the key here is to have everything highlighted so that your strips align with your letter perfectly. Once I have the desired size, I'm still playing a little bit with it, but I'm gonna jump ahead and just say that this letter is a cow theme. It's a farm theme that I have on my Etsy. I have a cake topper that goes with it. So this 3D letter has a print and cut cow print on it. And then it has the child's name with a glitter cow on, on the bottom of the letter. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. It's cute. These letters are a lot of fun to decorate the child's room or the dessert table. Um, just to tie in your theme, I really enjoy making these three letters and I've made them for my kids' birthdays and I like to decorate their dessert tables with them. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how I design my 3D letters. I'm just going to let this video play out. I had already designed the name and put together my little cow. So I'm just going to let this video play and you can just see what I'm doing here. If you have any specific questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comment box below.
now that I have everything designed and put together, I'm going to send it to my Explorer 2 and make my 3D letter. Now for the fun part, let's assemble our letter. So what I'm doing here is making sure that both sides align perfectly. If you have one side that is too thin, um, too big, flip your letter around and make sure that it aligns perfectly. Sometimes certain letters are skinnier on the bottom half and larger on the top or vice versa. Just make sure that both letters align perfectly before you start adding your strips to your letters. Now what I'm doing here is just pressing down on those flaps, making sure that they are flat. That way everything lays down nicely on my letter. And then I'm going to be aligning each strip to each section of my letter and making sure that all of the pieces match and that they align perfectly. Then grab your glue of choice and begin to glue each section to your letter. Begin with a little bit of glue, just a quick tip. Use a little bit of glue, take your time, make sure that each strip aligns with the edge of your letter. Take your time, don't rush it, don't get frustrated, just do it one section at a time and make sure that it aligns right on the edge of the letter that way when you get ready to add the top layer of your letter it's not pulling too much on one side everything aligns perfectly you'll notice that some strips have tabs and others don't that's also a helpful tip to putting together your 3d letter make sure that you have your tabs connecting to the next strip and make sure that you're pressing down. I either like to use my finger, I like to use a scraping tool. Just use whatever you feel comfortable using and just take your time. Make sure that you have enough glue on each tab. That way you don't have any tabs lifting and it's all on there just nicely. I'm not sure if I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but you can do a quick search on Etsy and type in 3D letter SVG and you can find a lot of shops that sell these 3D letters. The letters that I have here are from Do It Paper Etsy shop. She also is on Instagram. I bought them two years ago and I think she recently came out with a new file and her letters are more round. These letters are more square and honestly, I prefer these letters. I'm just used to working with these ones 
And so if you'd like to search for these types of letters, you can do a quick search on Etsy because I don't think she sells them on her shop anymore. I think she only sells the round ones. But either way, you can go ahead and check her out. I'll actually plug in her Etsy shop or her Instagram here in the description bar and you can check her out if you'd like. Now that I have my strips glued down, I'm going to be adding glue to the top layer of my strips and I'm going to be laying down my H on top of that and making sure that it aligns perfectly. And again, the same tip, make sure that you just take your time do one section at a time, make sure that it aligns. If you need to pull the letter underneath a little bit, go ahead and pull it just to make sure that it aligns perfectly. Run your finger through the edge of the letters and make sure that it is smooth, that everything aligns. I use my nail to pull a little bit the, the bottom layer and make sure that it's glued nicely to the top layer of my letter and just take your time. You don't need to rush it. If you rush it, you're just going to get frustrated and be upset because it didn't align nicely. Just take your time when it comes to these letters. Another quick tip, if you happen to get excess glue on your letter, on the edges of your letter, they sell this little soap thing it looks like a little soap it's actually an eraser like a rubber eraser and I like to rub it against the edges of my letter to get off any excess glue it's super easy it just makes the glue into a little ball and you can just dust it off it doesn't stain or ruin your letter at all or any of your paper crafts I like to use it for my cake toppers sometimes if I get a little crazy with my glue, I just rub it against the cardstock and it comes off just fine. Now I'm gonna just let the rest of the video play. I'm gonna be assembling my letter and adding all of my pieces together. And like always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking time to watch my videos. If you have any questions, go ahead and list them down below in the comment box. Also, if you have any suggestions on the type of video that you'd like to see next, Go ahead and list those down below as well. I really had fun recording this video. I kept thinking about all of those people that have had questions about 3D letters and I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and let me know in the comments also. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and like my video and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to my channel. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.